Welcome back to this week's technical video. No spiel about subscribing today, straight into it. We've spoken a number of times before about a disease called bovine viral diarrhea. It is one of the most important infectious diseases of cattle in both the UK and New Zealand, as well as many other countries around the world. And the name is slightly misleading because yes, it can cause a mild diarrhea in adult cattle, but actually its effects are much more wide ranging and devastating than that, particularly the reproductive effects that leads to a lot of cows that don't get in calf or lose it early or have stillborn calves and the immunosuppressive effects, which means other diseases that cattle suffer with end up being a lot more severe. So farmers can often see really bad outbreaks of calf scours, of pneumonia and other infections. The good news is that we have a range of really effective tests available. Tests that have both a good sensitivity, meaning they don't miss true positives, and good specificity, meaning they don't accidentally identify a negative as a positive. And for both the national herd and individual herds, testing is a really important cornerstone of BVD control. In fact, it's probably more important even than vaccination. And I think we can say we use the range of tests for three different purposes. Number one, to assess the status of a herd that we're unsure about, i.e. is there active BVD circulation going on? Number two, to find the persistently infected cattle so they can be culled. And number three, to monitor that BVD status to prove it to others and also to provide us with an early warning system of any BVD incursion into the herd. The commonest BVD test I've carried out as a vet is something called the BVD Young Stock Test, also called the Check Test. Now this is a good option for Ames 1 and 3 and it works particularly well in block calving system because it relies on discrete groups of calves rather than the steady trickle you'd get in an all year round calving herd. So it's used mainly to determine and to monitor BVD status. How does it work? Well, we're looking for evidence of exposure to BVD. For this particular test, we're looking for antibodies, not the virus itself, because we want to see if there's evidence of exposure in a recent calf crop. If we do find antibodies, this indicates that there's been BVD exposure in these calves and that they've launched an immune response against the virus. Physically looking at the calves, it's unlikely you'd be able to tell. Ideally, these calves would be about nine to 12 months old, although we can go as young as six months with one caveat, which I'll mention later. So many vets in the UK will currently be testing groups of calves born in spring 2022. So like I said, we're looking for antibodies. We're looking for evidence of exposure. The good news about that is we don't have to test every single animal in the group. In fact, we only have to test five to 10 calves from each management group. For example, farms with an autumn and a spring calving block should probably test both cohorts. These calves are acting as sentinels, meaning if that group has been exposed to BVD, by testing this selection, the chances are we're going to pick it up. And about a week or 10 days later, we'll get those results back from the lab. This is what we want them to look like, just a long list of negatives. Again, no evidence of exposure to BVD, at least in this group and this calf crop. Importantly, we cannot use animals that have already been vaccinated for BVD, although depending on the vaccine, you may just have to wait a while, because vaccines also generate antibodies, in fact, that's their job, and the test can cannot differentiate between the antibodies generated by vaccine and the antibodies generated by natural exposure. And that leads us onto that caveat I mentioned. I said most labs are okay with you testing animals as young as six months, so six to nine months you can normally still test, although obviously check with your vet or your local lab. Just know that those young animals can often still have antibodies from their colostrum still circulating, as amazing as that seems. So if their mother has passed on antibodies from BVD, whether that's because she's vaccinated or because she's seen it naturally as well, those younger calves between around six and nine months can come up as positive just because of maternal antibodies still circulating. If in the results we find a positive or more likely positives, then that gives us the green light to go hunting for a persistently infected animal or a PI. If you're unsure about what those are, we've talked about them before, the video link is in the description and I'll also put an end card at the end of this video. Now, the check test certainly isn't the only BVD test available to beef and dairy farmers, but back home in Northumberland, I found it worked well for most beef clients there because number one, most of those herds have already been testing for a long time, we're already confident that they are BVD free, so we don't need to go actively hunting out 
PIs. Number two, most herds are housing calves over the winter and most are spring calving. So when calves are in that nine to 12 month window when it's optimum to test them, they're often really close at hand and much easier for the farmer just to bring around from the shed into the pens. And in fact, we often combine it with other jobs we tend to be doing with the cows like TB testing or PDing. For many of our smaller herds, there's really only one management group of calves. That means we only end up testing five to 10 calves a year, rather than some other options when you would have to test every calf. But of course, there are other circumstances where other tests are more appropriate. And the best people to judge that are A, your vet, because they know BVD and they know tests, and B, you, because you know your farm and your system. It might be that, say, the tag and test tissue testing or a bulk milk test for dairy herds is more effective or more convenient or both. For example, one upside of the tag and test system is that we are testing calves when they're getting tagged. Compare that to the check test when we're testing calves of nine to 12 months old typically. So both are early warning systems, but the tag and test is giving us a much earlier early warning system. That is the BVD check test, in my humble opinion, a cheap, quick and convenient way to monitor BVD status in many herds. To learn more about BVD PIs, just click here. Otherwise, click that subscribe button, ring the little bell next to it, leave me a comment and give the video a thumbs up. Until next time.